exclusive live radar, your three-minute advantage, so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 Live Doppler. In a day dominated by cloud cover and comfortably cool temperatures, we're starting to finally see some sunshine break out along and north of I-20. You can see some of that blue sky there off in the distance, looking north from a top red mountain toward downtown Birmingham. Temperatures today struggle to climb. Many of us sitting in the upper 50s and 60s all day long. Still a 66 degree reading in Tuscaloosa, 65 in Birmingham, 64 in Coleman. That's actually below average for this time of the year. A nice little change from the 80 and 90 degree heat that we've been dealing with for the past couple of weeks. Just a few showers earlier today, generally south of I-20. Now those are moving off to the east. So we're going to see a bit of a break. We'll be dry out there this evening in most spots with temperatures falling back down into the 50s. But that rain, it's coming back in a big way over the next three to five days. We'll see another round of moisture coming in for our Sunday. The cold front trying to move down to the south but it's going to stall out and lift back north tomorrow. And that sets the stage for an overrunning rain event, we call it. And that just means more showers developing, pushing on through. So it's going to be kind of another day like today with the cloud cover in place, but also so a little more damp with widespread showers, light to moderate, no thunderstorms, no severe weather in the forecast for your Sunday, but obviously not good news for folks heading out to Talladega Super Speedway. A few showers tailgating prior to green flag, a chance for a shower there at 1 p.m. Temperatures peaking near 70 degrees, and it looks like rain will become more likely as we move through the afternoon hours. Let's though cross our fingers and hope the rain showers just miss. The track. Now, in the meantime, we're turning our attention back to the west as a second system will form early next week. This one's going to bring an even more widespread and heavier band of rain to drought stricken areas of the deep south. So you see it through Tuesday afternoon, that widespread rain moving at us from the southwest. So it looks like Tuesday, a pretty rainy day. A few thunderstorms will also be involved. And by the time we get to Tuesday night, some folks could be dealing with two to three inches of rainfall. Definitely good news on that front. So rain chances they peak tomorrow at 50% down to 20% on Monday, back up to 90% on Tuesday, and then back down to 20% early in the day on Wednesday. You're going to see two impact days on our seven day forecast, the first of which is tomorrow, just because of that widespread light rain that will develop, especially for the afternoon hours, mostly dry Monday, and then showers and thunderstorms and near certainty on our Tuesday forecast. So obviously impacting any outdoor plans you have in place or just getting to or from work or school clearing skies and a little more seasonable as we head through the second half of next week. Kyle.